The name John Ejikeme Nebolisa, who was popularly known as Alusi Okuzu, which translates to the oracle of the whole kingdom of Okuzu, and Ibilebe Ogada, which means the biggest the town has ever seen, was a strong name among the cycles of the Igbo elites and multi billionaires of the 80s and 90s. He was a very good friend of the late Eze Ego of Ihiala and the almighty chief Maurice Ibekwe of Okwele Holdings. He was one of the pioneers and top members of People's Club of Nigeria in the 80s and 90s. A social club where all its members were multi billionaires but mostly with controversial source of income. To most Nigerians, billionaire members of this club were either involved in shady businesses, rituals, blood money and what have you. But these were mere speculations because there was never a proof. John Ejike Menobolisa aka Alusi Okuzu was one of their top members who was flowing in money. In fact, one of his bodyguards was the then Nigerian wrestler Superman Armstrong and this man believed his money could get him anything he wanted and desired and somehow he wasn't far from the truth because he went against all odds to break century long tradition by buying his way to the throne of the Okuzu kingdom, the first of its kind in Igbo land. This was a typical case of when money speaks, the whole world keeps short and listen. He made so much money then from his controversial businesses and also spent it as if it was going out of fashion. The late king of high life music, Oliver de Kook, as well as Prince Morocco Maduka, sang his praises to high heavens in their albums. In fact, Morocco Maduka at some point dedicated an entire album to him. Stay, stay tuned as to bring to you the interesting story of John. Ejike Menebolisa, aka Alusi Okuzu, the owner of the once popular journal Holiday Inn in Okuzu, how he forcefully bought his way to the throne, and one day he was killed mysteriously by what is believed to be the gods of the land in a shocking way while watching television with his family in his now abandoned house on Mutiatu Kayode Street in Mafoluku Oshodi in Lagos, Nigeria and how his family abandoned the big house and all its belongings out of fear including his country home and the once magnificent John of Holiday Inn which has now been taken over by grasses and rodents. Stay tuned as we bring to you this story of how the mighty had fallen. But before we begin, if you're new to our channel, you are highly welcome to Laura Emi TV and please do all to hit on that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you can always stay notified and updated whenever we upload a new video. We upload very interesting contents every day. Without further ado, let's jump right into our story. Late Igwe John Ejikeme Nebolisa, aka Alusi Okuzu used to be one of the most popular multi-millionaires of the 1990s from the eastern region of Nigeria. He was known to be a close body of Victor Okafor aka Eze Ego which translates as the king of money in Igbo language and chief Maurice Ibekwe of Okwele Holdings. John Neboliza during his prime was everything any man wished to be in life. He owns expensive cars like the limousine the Porsche, Bujo chassis, and he moved with bodyguards and in convoy. Whatever it is that was in trend back in the 1990s, name it John Nebolisa, aka John Herb, had it all. John Herb had businesses all over the eastern region and so many landed properties in Lagos and overseas. His business spanned from hotels travel agencies and other controversial setups. He made so much money then from his controversial businesses and also spent it as if it was going out of fashion. The late king of high life music Oliver de Kook sang his praises to high heavens in his albums and at some point he dedicated an entire album to the owner of the once popular journal Holiday Inn in Okuzu. 
Amid all this wealth and power, Joneb still wasn't satisfied with all he has achieved as a multi-millionaire in his 40s. The controversial businessman wanted more power and fame to the extent he went toe to toe with his long tradition of Igbo land, specifically that of Anambra state and declared his intention of becoming the king of Okuzu, a town in Oyi local government area in Anambra state. After the death of King Aganama IV, the throne was forcefully taken by the late King John Nebulizer. Most of the elders of the town, dignitaries and the Igwe in council thought the multimillionaire was buffling until he stormed their houses one by one with bags full of naira notes that anyone opposing his ambition has never seen in their entire generation. Alosi Okuzu was so rich and he practically bought his way into the throne of the Okuzu kingdom. He bought every single person that had a tiny reason to object his ambition. Name your prize and see it doubled in your face. It was through Joneb that the people got to know that indeed, indeed kingship can be bought and everything on earth has its price. When the price was paid for his ascension to the throne of Okuzu, Joneb along with all his aides on his side was crowned Igwe Ibilibe Ogada and Arusi Okuzu which translates as the biggest the town has ever seen and the oracle of the whole kingdom of Okuzu. Joneb occupied the throne of Okuzu for 10 years before dying mysteriously in his home in Lagos while watching the TV with his family in 2005. The family he left behind after his death was a young one and they weren't mentally or physically prepared to continue his legacy as the Arusi Okuzu. They abandoned their Lagos house including all the properties in it and ran for their life. He was married to two women and blessed with about 14 children. His once popular country home has lost its color as well as all that it used to be known for while he was alive. The estate and holiday inn he left behind is now a shadow of itself. His country home which was one of the most beautiful mansions in Okuzu then and which also served as his palace started losing its glory after his death in 2005 starting from the driveway to the main entrance and to even the beautiful gate there is nothing palatable about the palace anymore the driveway has been ravaged and washed away by the rain even the street lights which used to be a lovely sight to behold at night are no longer functioning the major buildings inside the compound are also in their need of renovations and begging for recruiting and urgent attention. His story is very similar to that of his friend is the ego of Ihiala. They both died mysteriously and their luxurious properties and houses all abandoned by their family members, raising suspicion and making people wonder if truly their source of wealth wasn't clean enough. But it is never in our place to judge anyone's source of wealth. It's been over 18 years since the death of Alusi Okuzu, but the Okuzu kingdom and its throne have had no peace. They currently have two kings, Igwe Charles and Ikweze, who was installed by the then governor of Anambra State, Willy Obiano, in 2019, but wasn't accepted by the people and another king, Igwe. Chibuike Okafo, who was made king in 2023 by the king's men. So the kingdom currently has two kings, which is very abnormal and absurd.